Hi, I'm John from Offroad CC, and if you're a fan of expensive carbon fibre hoops, then uh, today is your day. These are the new Envy line of wheels. They've in fact completely overhauled their range from their cross country items to their downhill items. And I'd say that for most trail riders, these are probably the most interesting ones. So, if you know the old Envy wheel range, they basically split them into uh, what sort of wheel you'd want based on the proportion of descending to climbing you do. So 70-30 would be sort of like an enduro style thing, 60-40 would be a sort of trail wheel, and then 50-50 or 50, um, that would be their cross country wheel. Uh, so these are now replaced with a bit of a more simple naming system. So keep a bit of that. So these M70s, these are basically your enduro hoops. Um, and what they've done now is they've got them then split out by the different widths. So I think these are available in... Uh, was it? These are available just in 30 and 35 mil internal widths. The uh, M6 XX range, I think that's available in 30 mil, 35 mil, and also 40. So basically, your plus bike needs are covered. So they've completely revised the way they make the wheel. Uh, they've added a bit more vertical compliance, which is a good thing because the old wheels were pretty stiff vertically, pretty punishing, unless you're a big old unit, which I am not. But say all that aside the really interesting thing is something that you probably can't really see so so basically the main problem that you have with carbon wheels is obviously you hit something really hard you can break the carbon which is obviously something you can do with an alloy wheel but the problem is alloy wheels don't cost a thousand quid per rim so obviously they've got a really big thing invested in keeping these in one piece in order to do that you can either make the rim a lot stronger uh, which then makes it stiffer which then makes it even harsher but they've kind of thought their way around this so what they're using is a very thin little plastic strip around the rim here and that in conjunction with a uh, new redesigned bead means that the actual bead itself is a little bit wider I think it's about 4.5 millimeters compared to the 3.5 millimeters of most hookless bead systems so that obviously spreads the weight which means that when you're getting a pinch flat or when you might be getting a pinch flat that sort of spread over a larger area and because this thing is made out of a polymer it also means that that dissipates some of the energy as well and the figures that Envy have claimed are actually pretty impressive um, on their test rigs uh, they're saying that they've gained I think it's something like I think on one particular wheel set they reckon they've gained a uh, 100% pinch puncture reduction uh, or resistance to pinch puncture and they actually reckoned that because this new liner actually keeps the wheel intact so you can actually pinch puncture like a bugger uh, you can actually break the rim but you'll still keep the air inside the tyre which again if you're a racer or a downhiller which they do with the, obviously their M9 series that means that you'll be able to ride out a race even if you've cracked your rim um, so it seems like a pretty cool idea the nicest thing if you're in the uh, in the line for these sorts of rims is that there's not actually too much of an upcharge I think they've added about another hundred quid on uh, that does still mean that they're now well, thousand one hundred pounds or so uh, per rim uh, and that means that a fully built wheel set will still set you around three grand but it's an interesting bit of tech and it'll be really really interesting to see whether it carries over to uh, 